Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the Easterling Cataphracts. Now, you guys know me for um, the Mordor army at the moment, and lots of orcs, so it'll be quite interesting seeing uh, something new. So this marks the start of my Easterling army. Um, I've got a fair few Easterling models, and actually now I've been collecting over the past couple of weeks um, the rest of it, so it's all ready to be made up and um, painted um, and unboxed. So, this is the set now. Got a drummer, captain, and there's the banner bearer. I think this has to be my favourite plastic kit out of the whole Lord of the Rings range. And you'll see why in a minute when I open it up. If I sound a bit funny, I've just had a cold, so. Please bear with me with that. So, let's crack this open. So, what does this set come with? So, here we have the instructions. Now, this is a bit uh, creased because <laughs> um, I've already opened this loads of times. Anyway. Here the bases, it comes with six, uh, six horsemen, so let's have a look at the sprues, this is the meat of the product. So it comes with three large sprues, or should we say six mini sprues, three of which are duplicates, so let's just find the ones that aren't, okay, I think that's it. So. First, look at the normal one. Starts the normal sprue. So, two of the shields. There we go. Beautiful plastic. Um, there's a sheath with a sword in it. Now, with this kit, you're going to get no end of spares. This is the main guy himself. And a little. And on this sprue, as you can see from that, there is three arm positions. And you think, wait a second, that's just one guy. There's three arm positions for this one guy. Yes, that's right. And that is a casualty. So this set comes with two casualties and six horsemen, but it comes with more than that, really, as I'll show you. So there's a plastic banner. Very nice detail on it. the other body. A lot of the bodies are quite similar but slightly different movement and then there's another three arms very nice, all different positions there's the horse I really love the uh, positions of the horses on these so there you go, that's that sprue and this one has the parts of the captain on it So, and they're the drums Very nice and clean. There's the drummer himself. So, and there's the captain's body with the cloak and the sword. And that's his helmet there. Now, this helmet differs because that bit's open at the bottom and it has a spike on it as well. Um, I think that's possible um, possible horse accessory so if we count up the bodies on this you've got one two three four that's on half so you get that double so there's eight possible horsemen on this um, and how many arms? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, and this guy doesn't take your arms. So, as you're looking, there's so many spares on this, and it even comes with two spare shields. So, I'm going to be using this kit to both customize my troops and the guys on foot. So, I'm going to make a foot version of the drummer and the banner bearer. So, that'll be fun. And I also have picked up some metal horses um, with cataphracts, and I've got some metal cataphracts myself. So I should be able to make use of all the parts on this sprue. So I'll get these built up and I'll see you in a second. So guys, I've just finished making these up and here they are. Let's have a look at them. So these were really easy to put together and really great. Um, let's just take, take the guy off first. There's three different positions of horses and each horse has has the two different sides um, so you can mix and match so you can, to create six positions so that's the horse very nice indeed and here's the man really nice cloth and the armor is superb just like uh, with the old metal ones here's the other one this one raising his arm resting his sword And for the special troops, we have the drummer. Oh, this is a really fun model. It's great to see a drummer from the back of a horse. So I haven't glued these on yet because I want to paint them and then stick them on after, just so it's easier. And here's the banner. Now let's just take the banner. And last of all, we have the the captain. Now this is an extra one that I made. Flowing cloak. Very dynamic, and when put on, horse looks really good. <coughs> so this kit gave me loads of extra pieces, and I'll be doing a video soon about what I've done with those extra pieces. Uh, loads of conversions and foot models of some of the guys. Um, and also use them in conjunction with some of the metal cataphract parts, like this guy. Who's pointing his sword. Um, so. Oh yes, and gave some more positions to the metal ones. So I've got plenty cast facts as it is now. So guys, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and it's given you a closer look. Uh, stay tuned for my next few videos, which will still be these stillings. Um, I've got an unboxing of the War Knight, the War Priest, sorry, 
um, Dragon Knight, Commander's Set, um, and Amdur, and also some um, little um, conversion sort of sections of what I've done with the extra pieces. So guys, thank you for watching, take care, and happy hobbying.